In this week's Parsha, we're met with the continuation of the life of Avraham after the Akedah and the loss of his beloved wife Sarah. The Mepharshim discussed the theme of Sefer Bracious as one of Maisa Avos Simen Labanim, that what the Avos did and experienced throughout their lifetimes are either a sign of what was to come for their offspring or a message of lessons that their descendants should learn from. We know that Chazal categorized the personality of Avram as one of chesed, of constant kindness and giving to those around him. But there may be a deeper theme within the life of Avraham and the personality of chesed, which is demonstrated in our parsha as well as throughout the rest of his life. Avram, we know, is also classified as an Ivri. And Chazal mentioned two opinions as to the definition of the word. One opinion is to take the word literally. That Avram came to Ever Hanahar. He emigrated from his hometown of Haran and pioneered a journey to the future national homeland of Kla Yisrael towards Eretz Canaan. However, the other understanding of the word Ivri may even be more telling that Avraham was on one side of finding Hashem, while the other nations of the world were on the other side. Avraham is a man of principle, a paradigm of playing what we can call the spiritual long game. Pioneers and visionaries rarely benefit from their own actions and experiences and perseverance, but they engage in the arduous tasks of laying down foundations in order to benefit the future generations. Hashem tells Avram to leave his hometown with the promise of becoming a great nation down the line far in the future. Now Avram could have refused and stayed comfortable, but he moves with the awareness of the great reward at the end of the day. In our parsha, Avram tells his trusted servant Eliezer to go back to where his family presided and to find a wife for his son, Yitzhak. In theory, it would have been far easier to find a decently suitable wife for Yitzhak within a closer range. But Avram understood that in order to sustain the roots that he had planted for his progeny, it wasn't enough to compromise. In order to sustain the legacy of Sarah, he needed to find a Rivka, even if it wasn't easy or convenient. It can be very difficult sometimes to combat the great urge of instant gratification. We experience it all the time, be it through the use of technology, to the availability of incredible foods shipped in from all around the world at our local supermarket. What Avram is the paradigm for is the ability to put our priorities in order, to truly believe that we're playing the spiritual long game, that we're aware of the incredible reward at the end of the prosdor, of the journey of this world, and the promise that Hashem makes to Avram of an incredible nation filled with incredible people. In order to achieve the goals that we desire, to be the people that we aim to be, it takes the patience and perseverance of a patriarchal pioneer such as Avraham to reach the finish line. And we know that we have achieved the goal when we experience a sense of shalom and shalva, the way that Yitzchak does when the Pasuk towards the end of the parasha mentions that he had brought Rivka back into the Ohel of Sarah and had restored the legacy. With a clear view of our goals, with patience, and with plenty of siyata dishmaya, may we too be able to reach those simanim, those examples that our forefathers set out for us. Have a great Shabbos.